It doesn't matter how well you do it, you're gonna have to clean your kitchen again tomorrow. Mother. Mother. Yeah. It's the boring, grindy monotony of day-to-day -day life, but what if you made it into an anime? Well, my first gut reaction was that nobody would watch it since it would be boring as hell. You know, we watch anime for escapism, for that brief glimpse into something other than our bleak existence. Even the characters in Slice of Life have something we all lack. You know, like goals, happiness, a reason to live. <clears throat> that got a bit dark. Anyway, how would you make cleaning, shopping and DIY or anything else that goes on in the life of a typical house husband into an interesting, let alone a funny anime? Well, I may not be the best person to answer this, since my sense of humour isn't exactly what you'd call normal. At least, not in civilized company. But I will try my best to explain why on earth anyone would enjoy watching an anime about household chores, since that is the very essence of what Goku Shifudo or the Way of the House Husband is. Or at least a half of it, the other part being, well... I could say how it's a story of redemption for criminals or something equally lofty and obnoxiously morally superior, but the fact is that it's really just the most unexpectedly funny and wholesome collection of dumb fuckery that I've ever seen. This is the immortal dragon, Fujimi no Tatsu. He may be the scariest Yakuza that ever yakuza and he may also be the best house husband that... You know what, I'm not gonna try and twist house husband into a verb, you get what I mean. He was the top dog of the underworld of this sleepy Japanese town that for some reason seems to be chock full of career criminals landing on hard times and being forced into society. Until one day a cute nerdy career woman found him bloodied on the street and thought to herself, I can fix him. And fix him she did. Together Miku and Tatsu make an odd pair, but one that works well together. You know, opposites and all that. And that's kind of the name of the game here, contrasting things that shouldn't necessarily be together, working in harmony to create something oh so beautiful. Just look at the cover art and you'll know exactly what I mean. The image of a Yakuza has certain connotations. Crime, scary, maybe even tattoos. People know what to expect from a Yakuza, but then you throw in the curveball of a cute bear-shaped rice ball, and suddenly those expectations are subverted and the audience is intrigued and more than likely very, very confused. The two images are so at odds that this has to be seen, and then you watch the anime and you're still not quite sure as to what's going on. <laughs> and that is the beauty of Goku Shufudo. It embodies the comedic potential of utter chaos and plays with your expectations in a way that just points a massive middle finger at your preserved notion of what normality is, and it's glorious. And when you get deep enough in and start to expect that usual bullshittery that normally goes on, the show hits you right in the feels by becoming both sad and wholesome instead of funny. And the same applies to the characters. You got to expect the unexpected and you'll still never guess what they'll do next. The Housewife Association leads their charges like Yakuza bosses. Tatsu's father-in-law is, well, his... whatever this is. The other hard-ass Yakuza fighter makes cutesy craps and enjoys nature, and then you have Masa, who is probably the most relatable character here. They all work together well, creating fun and unexpected character dynamics that, like the jokes, probably shouldn't be as funny as they are, and yet they'll surprise you. Miku and Tatsu's relationship is incredibly sweet and wholesome while still being funny as all hell, and the now innocent-ish rivalry between Torajiro and Tatsu is absolute comedy gold. This extends to everyone, but I'm not about to sit here all day telling you about it. Go out there and experience it for yourself, and then come back and tell me in the comments why Gin is your favourite. Just kidding, please give me the watch time. But let's talk production. The sound design in general is on point and good thing too, since this is one of those anime that really showcase the impact a great sound can have on a scene. 
From the music to the sound effects, they all elevate each scene to a whole new level. The voice acting is immaculate and the animation, or, well, lack thereof, fits perfectly. Opting for doing little more than stop motion manga panels with color was a very deliberate choice by the people at JC staff, and it was a goddamn genius way to do it. It's clunky and even unrefined at times, and that helps the jokes land even harder. Yes, you can call me a hypocrite since I am a sucker for some good fucking animation, and I do often point and laugh at shows where the quality isn't all there, but people change. We grow and learn new things, and so too, I came to realize that this, this is it. Not needing flashy animation and impact frames galore speaks louder about the quality of the product itself than any animation quality award ever could. I'd say it's a show you should watch. It's easy to get into and the theme is funny and the lack of what you'd call traditional animation does open it up for people who might not be into anime to begin with. In a way, it's a more grown-up kind of comedy, but if you do belong to the younger card of anime fans to whom what to make for dinner isn't an everyday struggle, the show will even part some important life lessons. I'm not going to rate this one since so much of what goes on in the way of the house husband is very subjective, so just give it a try. It's split into short stories of only a few minutes each and you'll pretty quickly figure out if it's your kind of humor. If it doesn't make you laugh, well, you won't have lost a lot of time finding that out. I enjoy the show, but you don't have to. And now, just like the anime, there is no proper ending to this, so, uh, bye! Single malt whisky. Kire no aru ado aji to jukusen sarita taru no kaori. Koitsu ga nodo ni katto. Kidding, kidding, kidding. I did write an outro that I then promptly ignored because I have the attention span of a dead goldfish and for some reason it's not in the same text file as the script. Yeah. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, do the YouTube things of likes and comments and subscribes. Uh, membership is a thing that exists here and I am kind of upgrading the look of the channel. I have a new logo, as you may have noticed. There's also a banner coming that may or may not be done in time for this video, but it's it's coming, I promise. And yeah, I, I got nothing else. I've been Cheese and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta!